I'm tall. I'm not. I don't know. I feel like if you picture like a big man, like that's what I am, you know what yeah. I mean? We're like, like the complete opposite. Yeah, it's like, I try to avoid going to the beach a lot. Yeah, I mean, I try to, try to avoid going to the pool a lot. Uh, yeah, no. Like, um, I had, there, there's a birthday party I had like. Yes. Uh, like, um. Oh, I, birthday parties? Yeah. In Florida. Our little beach or pool. Yeah, no. And yeah. it's always. Yeah, I mean, obviously the beach is like a big thing down here because it's South Florida, so I mean, it's not the most common place to hang out, but like it is a very big thing, like especially with family and stuff, like we always go on trips to the beach and I just, I don't really like going to the beach, so. Why don't you like going to the beach? Um, I've always felt uncomfortable, like, I oh mean, okay, first I have a fear of the ocean which is just, it's a common thing. But then I also just, I always feel uncomfortable with my body because like it, it, going into any type of like water just is bad for me because like I'm overweight. So like when I wear, when, when I go in the water, I, I know I feel, it's either I have to take my shirt off or I have to wear a shirt. And I usually prefer to wear a shirt because I, I don't like like taking my shirt off in public. And then like when I go in the water, the, the shirt just kind of sticks to my body and then it shows what my body looks like. So I just prefer to stay out of water most of the time um i mean i've always been like i've always been aware and like people have always told me like not in a mean way obviously but like people have told me like nick your weight is a problem nick you need to fi figure out something like i know i understand that i have a health issue it's just sometimes it's kind of hard to find the willpower to actually do something about it i mean i'm obviously not happy with myself because of my weight like i always i've always wished i could be skinnier but it's just the fact that I've never been willing or able to do something about it. It's it's something that isn't probably like healthy for a mental like from a mental state, but like I've just kinda had to deal with it my whole life. Growing up in South Florida, it's kinda weird for me to say that I hate going to the beach, but it's honestly just my truth. When people hear me say that, they usually assume that I'm scared of the water or the ocean or animals, but honestly, I'm just scared of being seen shirtless. I've always been a pretty skinny guy ever since I was a little kid, and I've always been insecure of my body for as long as I can remember. Even when I was like in first grade, I would be insecure about my skinniness. It's always been a thing people pointed out to me, and even if it wasn't with bad intent, it still always got to me and it still always made me feel bad about who I was. I went on a family trip last summer to Ecuador and as a whole family we decided to go to the coast of Ecuador and go to the beach. And I remember like dreading the like three days before, just like scared, like seeing my shirtless. I don't fit the typical male model mold. It's kind of embarrassing because a lot of the times my friends will ask me to go to the beach or even just go to the pool and I'll have to reject them and say, oh no, I'm sorry. And then when they ask why, I can't say that, oh, I'm scared of taking my shirt off because then I'll be made fun of. And so it's just a cycle of embarrassed or be insecure. In the future, I hope not to have the perfect body I think of now but instead just to grow, to love myself more, to love my body, to not feel insecure when people point it out to me. I'd rather have that than have the perfect body deep down inside. Cabelos cor de mel singela, seu nome é Mabel, é uma menina cheia de vida. Se vamos para a praia, nós 
scarcely a